Welcome to the second part of the video. The next part is how to install 3ds Max 2024, 2023, 2022, and 2021 with free activation. Here, you can see the downloaded files are in five parts, and the total size of the 3ds Max installer is around 4.92 GB. To start the installation, double click on part 1. After clicking, the Autodesk self extraction window will appear. Here, you can change the destination folder. In this case, I am selecting the default. Click OK. After clicking, it will start self-extraction, which may take a little bit of time, so be patient. Here you can see that the total extracted size of the software is around 5.16 GB. If you are doing it for the first time, the installation page will appear automatically after self-extraction. After some time, 3ds Max will start verifying all the minimum system requirements. After some time, the license and service agreement page will appear. If your Windows is not up to date as per the minimum system requirement, it may ask for an update with a system restart. Let's restart the window. After restarting the window or canceling the installation process, you will get this extracted software copy in the C Drive Autodesk folder if you use the default location. Next, double click on setup.exe. After clicking, again, 3ds Max will start verifying all the minimum system requirements. After some time, the license and service agreement page will appear, which nobody is reading, so click on I accept. Click on Next. After clicking, the product installation location will appear. Here, you keep all the default settings and click on Next. After clicking, the additional component installation option will appear. Click on Install. This 3ds Max software is large in size, and it may take a long time to install based on your PC configuration, so fast forward this portion. In 3ds Max 2024, one new feature was added. You can start using the product while the installation continues. Let's wait for the complete installation. After a complete installation, the Start option will appear. Click on Start. After clicking, it will start initializing the software. If you have previously saved your login credentials, the Autodesk login page will appear automatically after clicking. If you want a free 3ds Max license, you have to create a student account. How to create a student account and get a free student license is already explained in my previous video, the link is given below. Next, enter your user ID details. Click Next. Enter your password. Click on Sign In. After clicking, it will show you your sign in confirmation. Click on Go to Product. After clicking, it will redirect you to the Autodesk ID Manager, which may require confirmation. Click on the open link. After clicking, your 3ds Max product will start automatically with activation. After initialization, it will show you the default setting confirmation. Click on Continue. After clicking, the Software Startup page will appear. Let's maximize the window. Before maximization, a Welcome Startup screen will appear. If you don't want this welcome screen every time you start the software, uncheck the check box. After clicking, it will show you all the basic interfaces. Click Close. Let's again maximize the window. If you want to change the license type, click on the login. Click on Manage License. Here you can see the software is activated with a student license. Click on Change License Type. From here, you can switch users. From here, you can enter your serial number. From here, you can use a network license. So in this process, you can install and activate the 3ds Max software free of cost. Like, subscribe, share, and press the bell icon for more interesting topics.